Let's now get a check of the weather conditions with our Hannah Kim. She, of course, is standing by at the Weather Center. Hello there, Hannah. Good afternoon, Kanyang. Can you believe it's already the last Wednesday in June and summer vacation already started for many people? Right. I mean, I feel like uh, public places are getting more and more crowded these days, uh, especially with college students and uh, young adults, I guess, uh, taking a break. And many pools are now open in Seoul, and so I'm sure we'll be seeing more people around. Well, I'm not sure if I'm ready to hit the pools just yet. I should start exercising more, not only for the summer, but a recent study also showed how exercise can help improve your skin, give you healthier eyes, better sleep, and increase blood to your brain. Now, it may be a little too hot to run outside and exercise today. For more details, let's move over to our satellite map. We still have a high pressure front in the east, bringing in warm sunshine and, of course, all these clouds. But remember that clouds cannot protect you from UV radiation, so it's important that you always wear sunscreen. If we take a closer look at the forecast, we also have a chance of showers in the inland, but it should be only light passing rain. Seoul should reach 31 in the afternoon. Meanwhile, cities in the south like Daegu and Gwangju will both peak to 29 degrees. Down on Jeju Island, we have mostly cloudy skies as well with temperatures from 19 to 25. Daejeon will hit 30, while Tokdo tops out a little lower in the lower 20s. Well, that's Korea for you. Here's a look at weather conditions around the world.